Hello and welcome to Charter Local Edition Northwest. I'm Dana Cowley and my guest today is Roy Lindsay. He's the counselor for the city of Grants Pass. Thank you for joining us. Well, thank you so very much for having me. I really enjoy being here. Oh, thank you. The city of Rands Pass is beautiful. You have so many oh, yes. wonderful things to offer your citizens and guests, but you're working now to improve a challenge that you and many other cities have, which is homelessness. Yes, it is really uh, because of our climate and also because of various other factors. Um, Grants Pass seems to be sort of a magnet for homeless people. And that's unfortunate because we don't have the resources to deal with them in a proper way. Um, it takes state and federal resources to provide adequate facilities for them. We don't have those kind of facilities. Tell us what kind of challenges this brings to the city and to your citizens. Okay. Um, St. Vincent de Paul, for instance, has a kitchen downtown and they serve lunch. The homeless come into town to go get a meal. And they go by businesses and in, intimidate customers at the businesses and so forth and hang around. And it's not a very good environment for customers to go into a business when they feel uncomfortable about being around those things. So the city has been working with uh, other organizations and we're finally in the final stages of this happening. St. Vincent de Paul has agreed to not serve food at that downtown facility. They will cook it there. We're in the process of obtaining through grants and support, some support from the city a truck and a trailer to take food to outlying areas on a rotating basis so that the homeless do not congregate downtown. Mm -hmm. And it's really important to keep them out of the downtown area as much as possible. It's not always totally possible, but as much as possible, so that they don't interfere with businesses downtown. We've had a lot of complaints about that. And it's, um, this is a real positive step to, to doing that. The city is dealing with the homeless as best they can, but of course they don't have the resources. Uh, one of the things that has happened is we've opened up our sobering center, oh. which is um, for a 24 hour stay, somebody who's drunk or um, under the influence can be taken to this sobering center and held for up to 24 hours, giving them a chance to come down a little bit and sober up a little bit. And then they're given the opportunity of, they're given information as to what they can do next if they want to come off of this addiction. Mm -hmm. And they're provided information and they're sent to various organizations that deal with that kind of thing. And it's really, really important. And then also, because the county does not have a juvenile justice center active at the moment, Hearts with a Mission has, op has opened up a facility in Grants Pass, which takes, on a volunteer basis, te uh, uh, young, young people from age 10 to 18. Oh. And it's, I, we've, we think that that's a real positive step. It's just been open a, a short time now, so I, I haven't gotten any report as to how effective it is. But the um, effort here in, uh, in Medford has been in, a, in a, uh, operation for about six, seven, six years, I think, and it's very effective. So we expect that, sa that same organization that opened up a facility in Grants Pass to be as effective as they are here. So we're really looking forward to those kind of things to help those that want to be helped, those that need to be helped, and also provide a safer community as, as much as possible. Well, and I've always personally felt that in any society, city, county, it's certainly a higher calling to help our children and our seniors. Oh, absolutely. And so absolutely. I think talking about what can be done for our young people, especially you mentioned people as tender and vulnerable as 10 years old. I know it. I know it. Yes. Um, a priority. I, I was on a ride along recently, and it was a very challenging situation where some teenagers were disruptive in the in the home and the police had to come in and we had no place to take the teenagers to separate the parents and the teenagers but the, the police officer I was with worked it out very well but it was stretching his um, uh, um, level of expertise that could have been easily handled by somebody with a more professional background so those kinds of things and we're hoping that those things will be resolved in the future trying to keep people 
and teenagers and children and seniors safe. Now that is a challenging issue trying to help the homeless, particularly our young and our seniors, <coughs> and also to keep the public safe because sometimes homeless people are very innocent and meek and other homeless people can be a danger to themselves and to others. Absolutely, absolutely, no question about that. Thank you so much. Thank we you appreciate so you being here. Thank you so much. Thanks for being a appreciate guest on the set. It. This is Roy Lindsay. He's a counselor for the city of Grants Pass. I'm Dana Cowley, and you're watching Charter Local Edition Northwest.